Hi, this is Edie Ann, and I'm continuing my Facebook party training. And one of the things that I wanted to show you was how to message guests from the event page. One of the things that we in Sensi Land um, have as a rule is that we can't offer personal specials publicly. It keeps it fair across the playing field, and I kind of like the rule, but there are ways that we can do this so that it is not public. And one of those ways is to message the guests that are part of the Facebook party. So what you're going to need to do is go to your event page and make sure that it has been refreshed. So we're going to refresh that right now. Um, we have an, uh, a live feed that we did on it earlier. And one of the things that um, you'll notice is that we don't have anybody invited and we don't have a co-host. So we need to do that first and foremost. So we're going to go click on edit. And I'm going to go ahead and add a co-host of my daughter. We're going to go ahead and invite her. And then I have another um, uh, Facebook profile that was old and I don't use it anymore, but I do use this as part of some training. And so we're going to use it today. So I'm going to go ahead and add her. So I'm going to click on save. And now I have two co-hosts pending. I'm going to go ahead and click on invite and I'm going to choose some guests and we're going to do basically the same kind of thing. We're going to go through our contacts and we're going to invite people. Now, one of the biggest things that we do in hostess coaching is make sure that the hostess understands that she should not invite more than 50 people. Why? Because it's not personalized. Then if you're starting to invite everybody on your Facebook fan or on your um, friends list, it's kind of impersonal and you want to make sure that the hostess is messaging each person individually and inviting them to this event so that they know exactly how special they are and that you really want them there. Okay. So that's one of the things that as a consultant, we need to make sure that the hostess is well aware of. This is where she's going to go and invite her friends. Okay. So she's just basically going to click on the ones that she wants to invite and they're going to send the invites. Okay. This, once you send the invites, then an invite is sent as a notification to the person that you've invited and they get to RSVP by clicking on going, interested, or I'm not going, okay? Or not attending, I forget what it's, how it's called. What we wanna do is during the party, if the hostess or, because once the hostess accepts her invite as a co-host, she's gonna be able to do anything in this event that you would have done as the creator of the event, okay? So if she wants to message the guests, she's going to be able to do that. The way that you do that is by clicking on the three dots and then clicking on message guests. What that will do is bring up a page that or a little pop up that says, here are the people going, here are the people that said maybe, and here are the people that are invited. If I want to message these people, I can do that. There's two different ways that we can do that. You can select all of the people that you want to do that to, and then type in the message here. This is where the message goes, okay? And if you click send right now, it's actually going to send that message individually out to everybody, which is really what you wanna do. If you clicked on send as a group message, then it's gonna be one message, that everybody is going to be seeing and they're going to be part of a group message. Okay. We don't want to do that. All right. We want to make sure that we're sending them individually in the event. Somebody wants to respond. Not everybody's going to see their response. Okay. So this is how you're going to message your guests. If you have a personal special or if you have a game that you're playing and you want to announce a winner, we can't do those on the, on the page itself, but we can certainly do it through a private message. And that's why it's important that we do it individually and not as a group message. Okay. All right. That is how simple it is to send a message from the event.